Hello everybody. Um, so today I bring you August's Horror Pack Blu-ray edition. Because that's all I get is the Blu-ray. I don't have the money to get the DVDs. I mean, there have been a couple of DVDs that they have um, sent out that are actually pretty awesome. So for those who don't know, Horror Pack is a monthly subscription. You can sign up for a whole year, you can sign up for six months, three months, or you can just do uh, monthly, which is what I do. Because again, I don't have the money to sign up at once for a whole year, which would be great, because you usually get uh, perks when you sign up for the whole year, which is amazing. Um, so no further ado, here is August edition for Horror Pack. Blu-ray edition. Let's see what we got for the month of August, which is my birthday month. Happy birthday to me and to all the Leos out there. I know right now it's probably not a Leo. Is it Virgo's the next one? Whatever. Anyway, so here we go. So you get four Blu-rays and four DVDs. And, um,. Just recently, they started putting in a, um, which I don't see it in here. Ah, uh, I found it. The horror limited edition uh, pack uh, for DVDs. They've been doing it for Blu-rays, um, and re as of recent, they started doing it for DVDs. So, my cat. Um. So I like to put that one aside and show it last. I do not know, just like you, exactly what it is. So here are the first three. And the first one is the Echo. Um, I have not seen this. It is from the executive producer of The Ring and The Grudge. Okay. This was 2008. Sorry, my cat's making noise and I had to throw something at her. Make her stop making that noise. Cats. <laughs> anyway, um, The Echo. Yes, this is a new movie. I believe I have seen the title here and there, just never really watched it or gotten into the mood of watching it. I usually have to be in the mood to watch certain movies. I, If I'm just not in the mood for it, I will probably fall asleep or just not pay attention to it and have it as a back, background noise. Um, let's see. Fear and paranoia seep from every wall in this tense and creepy psychological thriller from the producers of The Ring and Dark Water. Um, Jesse Bradford is Bobby Walker, fresh out of prison and living in his dead mother's apartment as a condition of his parole. Plagued by eerie echoes emanating from the building, Bobby's terror mounts as he begins to suspect that his neighbors had a sinister hand in his mother's death and could come for him next. So what's the echo with the echo? I mean... This is the other thing too with some DVD Blu-ray covers. I mean, it'll show you something that has nothing to do with the movie. So, is this a ghost living in his mother's apartment, and is she gonna tell him something about like his mother's death? I don't, I don't know. I guess we won't know until I, I watch it. Okay. Next one is oh, this is sorry. <laughs> this is a great movie, and I'm glad now. I have it in my collection. Condemned. Um, yeah, this is this is a great movie. If you have not seen this movie, um, I highly, highly recommend it. It's a great indie flick. Not a lot of people knew about this movie. Um, like, if people are like really into like these big studio movies they would they you mentioned condemned to them and they're just like what is condemned um this is a, a must watch for any horror fan out there this is uh the psychological um influence um of this movie is just like 
amazing. It's um, shot in New York City, which I love. I love movies that are always shot in New York and keep it real to the streets on what buildings look like. And it's not, you know, like those big studio movies that are always shot in New York and it's actually shot in the studio. Like this was actually shot in a New York City building. Um, yes, yeah, so if you have a chance, please watch Condemned. I will give you the synopsis from the back of the packaging, which says, Fed up for, with her parents bickering, poor little rich girl Maya moves in with her boyfriend who is squatting in an old condemned building on Manhattan's Lower East Side. With neighbors that are meth heads, junkies, and degenerates, this depraved hellhole is even more toxic than it appears. After revivers born from their combined noxious waste and garbage infects the building's residents, one by one, they succumb to a terrifying pathogen that turns them into bloodthirsty, rampaging killers and transforms their building into a savage slaughterhouse. When I first watched this movie, I think the first 15 minutes, the first time I watched it, I'm not going to lie, I was like, what the fuck is this? I shut it off. Um, like I said, I have to be in the right state of mind to watch certain movies. And this was one of those. Um second time around I turned it back on and it just grabbed me because this time I my mind was open I was really paying attention to the characters and what was really going around in the background and it's an amazing amazing it was really really well done and again if you have the chance to watch this movie I highly highly recommend it you will not be disappointed and if you are I'm really sorry then I don't know what to tell you but definitely recommend this movie to any and every horror fan out there that has not seen it great movie condemned that's a big plus in my book oh here we go um i remember seeing this in the theaters and i read the book world war z as a steel steel book that's pretty cool it's a nice steel book cover pretty pretty nice sweet sweet looking yeah, yeah, it's Brad Pitt. So, I remember reading the book before the movie came out. Uh, I finished reading it, and then I found out there was going to be a movie made. And watching the movie, you definitely, if you haven't read the book, you're not. I would say, like, maybe 80% of the people who watched the movie that did not read the book was not a big fan of the movie itself. Um... World War Z is really weird. The book is really weird because the book is like written like a diary in a type of a diary type way. So if you've read the book, have not seen the movie, definitely watch it. If you have seen the movie, have not read the book, please read the book and watch the movie again. It really is a sleeper. It's The story is great. The story is there. It just did not grab a lot of people. Um, I do have to watch this again though because there were some things in the theater I was just like, ah, why is this happening? I read the book and that's not in the book. But you know how big studios are. They like to throw shit in there. So World War Z. This is cool. Alright. So like I said before, um, every pack has a limited edition Blu-ray in there that horror pack would throw in. It would either be uh, an indie film, it would be a Blu-ray signed by an actor, an actor or the director, um, or just a special flick that it's hard to find. So for this month, beeping, is Malignant. And I'm gonna take this out of this here. This glare. It's a really bad beeping sound. Keep the city sometimes. So Malignant. This I have not heard of. Cool thing though, it's got Brad Dorif in it, and he's actually a really cool person to uh, meet. I met him at a horror film festival at one point, and he's actually pretty down to earth, very humble, very mellow. Um, so this movie I have not seen. Gary Car, I'm gonna butcher this name. Please forgive me. Carnes <laughs> and Brad Dorif. So. I have no clue what this movie is about, so let's find out. A grieving man, Alex, falls victim to a rogue scientist, who is played by Brad, who uses deadly methods to cure addictions. Unaware that he's become the latest experiment 
Alex passes out from drinking and wakes up to find stitches across his chest and a gruesome video showing a murder. Now he must confront the scientists and overcome his terrifying treatments or face the ultimate horror. Okay. Interesting. I will definitely uh, give it a watch these. More interesting is that it looks like this never, I don't even think there's actually like Blu-rays made out of this. This could have been like on VOD or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah. So. I can't. Okay. I'll give it a watch these. All right. So out of the four that I've got, I've watched two and never heard of the other two. Am I happy with this month? Um, I'm very happy with Condemns. This was a really good movie. Again, if you have not seen this movie, watch it. This is really good. This one right here is a winner. Okay. Um, then War Z, which I definitely have to rewatch again um, and read the book. And then these two I've never heard of. This is the limited edition for the month and the Echo. All right, so here you go. Four movies for the month of August. Okay. Obviously, if somebody ordered DVDs, they will not be getting the same movies for August as the Blu-ray collectors. That's why people usually get both boxes. Um, will they probably get the same movie later on down the line? Probably they will. Who knows? I don't know because I don't get the DVDs. Anyway, um that's it for this segment and hopefully to uh i'm hoping here september will be a really good box all right everybody have a great one bye